what's happening guys this is Jay from Sold Souls and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the shoe shield sneaker shield crease protectors whatever you want to call them um, they've been going around on social media a lot of people are selling different ones um, a lot of people have different opinions on them and I'm going to be making an honest review um, on the ones that we sell uh, the link will be available in the description if you do want to check them out but even though we sell them it's going to be completely unbiased um, it's your choice from this video whether you, you you think that they are good or you think that you know they're they're unnecessary i'm here to give an honest opinion on these okay so these are the ones that we sell they're they're pretty similar to um to most protectors um, you know we do have quite a nice packaging for it which has a, a brief instructions on the back as you can see it will tell you how to use them um, we do actually send out further instructions um, via email uh, how to use them properly we have the tutorial videos on our website just to make sure that you're making the most out of them so yeah as you're probably aware there is a lot of um, divided opinions on crease protectors they are designed to stop creasing in the toe box of your shoe which is where your shoes are probably most likely to um, to crease you know due to your your just the natural movement of your foot when you're walking and these are designed to like provide some rigidity or an extra stiffness to um, to the material of the shoe to stop that creasing from happening. So yeah, as I said before, there is a lot of different ones that are being sold. These are the ones that we sell. So yeah, straight away, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. Um, people say that they hurt their toes. A lot of people do say um, that they're uncomfortable uh, they make their shoes tighter, they make their shoes smaller to the point where it's uncomfortable to wear them, which is a fair enough point. However, before you make that judgment, please watch this video because I'm pretty sure that 90% of people who say they're uncomfortable are using them wrong. And I'm going to show you how you're using them wrong. As I said earlier, we, we provide tutorials and videos on our website before we sell them so you know what you're buying and how to use it so it doesn't cause any discomfort. So uh, let me look, just look at a fresh one. On a fresh one, I don't know if you can, the camera is going to pick it up, but it is some grooves on the sneaker protector and then those grooves are there for you to trim the protector to your size a lot of people just whack them straight in their shoe and when you think about it logically there's no way that throwing this in the UK 7 and throwing this in the UK 12 is going to have the same effect without any adjustment it's too big of a size difference and I'm going to show you what adjustment you need to make to the protector and what it's designed to actually do. So as you can see on this one, I've mapped out the adjustment lines which are already preset. The camera wouldn't pick them up so I've highlighted them, the purple lines. These lines are there for you to trim according to your size. I'm going to tell you my recommendations on how to trim these. So the bigger size you are, the more material you're going to need because your shoe is bigger. So if you are a size 11 or size 12, you won't need to do any trimming of this outer line. You won't need to trim that all because your sneaker is already, you know, it's, it's a big size, like size 12, that would be a US 13. Um, you've already got a big size shoe, so you need a lot of material in that to prevent the creases. Depending on what shoe it is, if you are a size 12, um, if you've got Air Force Ones, you could probably put this in straight without no adjustment 
and that is going to be comfy. If it is a slightly um, narrower shoe, maybe like a Jordan 11, um, you might, if you're size 12, you might need to trim the first line of this ridge. You might need to trim that one just to give you, um, it will help make the, the protector a bit narrower when it's slid inside your shoe. If you're, um, okay, so I've mentioned size 12. If you're a size 10, says I say if you're a size 9 and 10, you need to trim at least the first, the first line. If you're a UK size 9 or 10, that'd be a US size 10 or 11, you're going to have to trim at least the first line all the way around. So if you're UK size 8 to 9, you're going to have to trim the second line, second line of all of these, all the way around. And if you're a size 7, you're going to have to trim it right to the first line. Obviously your, your shoe is smaller, so you're going to have to trim all the way to the first line. And once it's trimmed, it should look like this. You can see the difference. This is a trimmed version. You can see the ridges on both sides. And this is the untrimmed version. There's only a ridge on one side. Yeah, they are not hard to trim. Um, I'll show you quickly how easy they are to trim. As I said before, this one is already partly trimmed, but um, just to show you how easy, you just need a pair of scissors. Follow the lines. Um, it cuts really easy. So you won't need to put any effort. Just follow that line. That's how easy it is to trim. Do that all the way around where the lines are to suit your size. And yeah, that's it, you're good to go. Installing the protector is easy. All you need to do, slide it in, and it'll go in easily, and then push, keep on pushing till you feel it reaching the edge of your shoe. Just give it a double check, just to make sure it's all the way at the end. And then yeah, that's installed now. And I've already trimmed this one to size. This is a UK size 10, or UK size nine and a half, a US. Um, ten and a half and as you can see that does have as you can see it's added some rigidness to the toe box it is a bit harder to bend now and that will save your toe box from creasing now these, these shoes as you can see they're worn I've had these shoes for over, had these shoes for about six years. I do take good care of my shoes. Um, recently, I've, I've been wearing these about twice, twice, about once a week. Yeah, recently, I've been wearing these about once a week. And I've had the protector in it. And to be honest, that toe box is still fresh. That toe box is still fresh. There's a bit of crease in there, but as I said, they're six years old. Well, I have had them for six years. I think they came out in 2008. So, you know, it's a very old shoe and they're in perfect condition. The sneaker protector is helping preserve them. And yeah, like, um, I can only speak from my experience and from my customers who obviously have read my instructions. I've not had... Out of the hundreds we've sold, I've not had one um, return on them. I've not had one person message me and um, tell me that they are uncomfortable because I believe that they are following the right instructions by trimming to size. All the other complaints I see online, even people have complained on my pictures, they haven't actually bought the protector from us. They bought it from my other site and obviously they haven't read the instructions or they haven't been given proper instructions. And... Um, you know, I tell them, have you trimmed it? And they say, no, I didn't know you need to trim it. So I believe if you trim it, they are going to be comfortable and you won't notice them. Um, if you do wear your trainers tight, 
you if you wear your air force is really tight in the first place then you know it is adding a bit of material to the shoe so again maybe that might be the issue why it's uncomfortable so in summary I'm not going to tell you to run out and buy this product. 90% of people don't care about getting creases in their shoes because it's a fact of life. If you do care and you want your shoes to last a little bit longer, then I would say invest in a sneaker shield. Make sure you use it properly to get your money's worth out of it. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have had any experiences with these sneaker shields in the past please leave a comment below good or bad thanks for watching guys